Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Chrissy. This wasn't the regear I was expecting to see when I flipped over to Judge Webster's courtroom. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, let me know in the comments because there's usually one in every family. I hope you like it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. Elders? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I'll have a good day. Well, thank you, you too. And I believe that brings us to Mr. Do you pronounce that Rieger or Regeer? You're still on mute. Now, can you? It's Regeer, that's correct. Regeer? Yeah. Okay. All right, we are on the record in 2024, CR 202, State of Kansas versus Christopher John Regeer, County Attorney Jill Gillette for the state, the defendant, Mr. Regeer, in person and pro se. Mr. Regeer, in count one, you're charged with unlawful possession of the controlled substance, methamphetamine. This is a level five drug felony, which means if you were to be convicted and depending on your criminal history, if any, your sentence would have to be at least 10 months in prison, up to 42 months in prison, and your fine could be up to $100,000. In count two, you're charged with unlawful possession of cocaine, another level five drug felony. Your sentence could be anywhere from 10 to 42 months in prison added to count one and up to another $100,000 fine. In count three, you're accused of unlawful possession of heroin, a level five drug felony, anywhere from 10 months to 42 months in prison and up to $100,000. Is he a co-defendant, Ms. Gillette, to the lady that was here a while ago? No. no. Don't think so, it just seems like a coincidence. All right then. It can happen. Uh, on count four, you're charged with possession of fentanyl. Uh, this is another level five drug felony, 10 to 42 months in prison and up to $100,000 in fines. Count five, you're accused of counterfeiting currency. It's alleged that you unlawfully, knowingly distributed or possessed with intent to distribute currency, apparently altered or fictitious, less than 25,000, uh, yeah, less than 25,000 to it five $20 bills. This is a level eight non-person felony. If you were to be convicted, you could serve another seven months up to 23 months in prison, and you could pay another fine up to $100,000. In count six, you're charged with unlawful possession of 44 Zolpidem pills. This is charged as a misdemeanor, 12 months up to 25, or up to 12 months in jail, as opposed to prison, and a fine up to $2,500. In count seven, you're accused of criminal carrying of a weapon. It's alleged that you unlawfully and knowingly carried a weapon to wit bludgeon knuckles. This is charged as an A misdemeanor. If convicted, you could serve another 20 or another 12 months in jail and pay another fine. This one up to 2,500. Count eight, you're accused of driving after your license had been revoked as an habitual violator. An A misdemeanor could be up to a year in the county jail and a $2,500 fine. In count nine, you're accused of driving while suspended a fifth offense, which implies that you have four convictions for driving while suspended prior to this charge. This is a class A non-person misdemeanor. The minimum penalty could be 90 days in jail, up to a year. The minimum fine would be $1,500 up to $2,500. In count 10, you're charged with or accused of unlawful possession of the controlled substance marijuana. This is a B misdemeanor. The penalty could be a fine up to $1,000 and up to six months in the county jail. In count 11, you're accused of unlawful possession of drug paraphernalia. That is digital scales, multiple glass containers, and multiple smoking pipes. 
this is a B misdemeanor. You could get another six months in jail and another $1,000 fine. In count 12, you're accused of speeding 37 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. It's a traffic infraction, no jail time, but a $45 fine. Now, Mr. Regeer, are you going to hire an attorney, apply for court appointed? Uh, I can't afford one right now, so I apply right. for a court appointed. Okay. Are you hire, Are you employed? Hey, yeah, I work construction right now. It's kind of slow because of the winter. So. Okay. Who do you work for? Darn good construction. Darned good construction? Yep. Where's that located? Uh, Garden Plain, Kansas. Garden Plain, okay. And what do you get paid? Well, what did you file? What do you file for your tax on, on an average year? Uh, well, this is my first year working, so I haven't filed taxes for that yet. <laughs> okay, you haven't. Is your first year working ever? No, this firm, that place, okay. yeah. And then before that, I wasn't working for about three years. Why didn't you work for three years? I broke my back and I couldn't do much of anything for a while. How old are you? Uh, 47. 47? Yep. Wow. Good genetics, 47. <laughs> Thank you. Surprises me. Okay. Married or single? Single. Any minor children that you legally support? No. Okay. Well, what's your best, uh, what do you make per month? What would you say is your average monthly pay? Uh, 1300 probably right now, around 350 to $400 a week, I'd say. Maybe now is what I'm making. Okay. And do you pay rent or a mortgage? Yes. How much per month? Uh, 500 do you have utilities on top of that? Yeah, probably another two fifty, three hundred. You have an automobile? No, but you got a lot of Uber expenses, which is about three hundred dollars a month on those. <laughs> All right, I will appoint an attorney, but I cannot tell you until probably Monday who that will be. So contact okay. my office, Missy, at my office Monday. And she will tell you who your attorney is and how to get a hold of that attorney. Once you okay. have that information, you contact that attorney and you talk to that attorney about this matter before your next court date. Missy, when's his next court date? January 3rd at 1.30. All right. January 3rd at 1.30. You will be continued okay. on your $40,000 cash or surety bond with all existing conditions, plus okay. the condition that you contact your attorney as soon as you find out who it is, okay. and that you reappear ready to go January 3rd at 1.30, and that will be by Zoom, but different Zoom codes. So make okay. sure that we have your uh, email address. If you don't get them, you call the court a day or two. Before. Okay. And uh, let's see, so you have, you're going to get your attorney, you have your court date. Yep. You have your bond. Anything further, Ms. Gillette? No driving. No no driving and no yep. possession, no consumption. Don't be around anybody that uses alcohol or drugs. And I'm just almost certain he had a co-defendant here, a lady before me. What was her name? No, that's not his co-defendant. That's a whole separate deal. But the charges are so similar, including the Zyapam or whatever. Nope. He was he was in a different vehicle at a different time. That other one earlier today was I I don't believe they're co-defendants. Well, you would know you're the one that filed it, but it just it's it's oddly curious that they had the same alleged drugs. There was a, a yellow wolf in his car, and we didn't have one of those today. Just yellow wolf and Mr. Howell. Okay. Oh, Miss Howell. Yeah, there was a Howell in 
Yeah. Maybe I'm looking at Morgan. It wasn't Morgan Shaw. They had meth, fentanyl. Amanda Howell. Okay. Well, like I said, you'd know better than I would. You're the one that filed it. But there were some that were just, including right up to that Zolpim. Zolpim. Z O L P I T E M. Zolpidem. All right. Well, stay away from anybody that uses drugs, Mr. Regeer. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Stay away from anybody that's on probation, bond, that sort of thing. You may go. All right. I will do. Thank you. And I believe that concludes this stuff.